Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great day today. In this video, we're going to be doing a review for Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice. This came out in 2016, and this is also just the theatrical cut, not the director's cut. So to just hop right into the review, I think this is a pretty interesting movie. It has like a really cool premise where basically uh, there's this whole ongoing joke about how in superhero movies they always like destroy buildings and stuff in the process of saving the day but it actually uses that to its advantage where people are unsure about what they think about Superman because they start to realize that he has the power to basically kill every human on earth and if there's any chance that he's their enemy that would be bad and so it's kind of just a cool modernization of Superman and if he really was in the real world he would become a like controversial figure. So you see kind of a broken characterization of Batman and Superman in this movie and I think the acting is pretty good for the most part and uh, the costume design is also really good. I like what they did with Batman's costume kind of just like pulled it out of the comics most specifically uh, the Dark Knight Returns kind of look and he almost, like, he's so muscular, he kind of, like, almost looks fat if, like, you just see some of the pictures, but when you actually, like, watch it in the movie, it looks fine, and he's actually, like, six foot four, so really muscular, and just the suits work really well. He obviously has the main suit, and then the one he fights Superman with, and then another one in this dream sequence. And as for the rest of the visuals in this movie, I think they just work really well, and I even think Gotham City uh, was pretty cool. And then the fight scenes are also pretty good. And a lot of people kind of have a problem with this version of Batman kills people, which is a little bit different from what we are kind of used to. But I think it works in this case because this is just an older version of Batman and he's just broken. And uh, he probably didn't do that in his younger years, but he feels hopeless and this is just kind of like his solution. And in a way, w without an origin story for this Batman, that's kind of what makes it unique. And you just like jump right into him as an older version of the character. As for Lex Luthor as the villain, aside from the fact that he looks like he just graduated from middle school, he actually is a pretty okay villain. Like, I don't think the characterization is that bad, it's just the fact that he, like, looks young is a thing that throws everyone off. But you actually see Lex Corp in this movie, and he acts like a psychopath as usual. So really not anything too different from the normal character that we're used to. And I even think his plan, like, somewhat makes sense. It's kind of like the Jokers in The Dark Knight, where there are some coincidences that kind of have to happen but I doubt that he like planned everything to go exactly one way it was kind of like a more flexible plan obviously there are parts in this movie where I feel like they kind of had to cut corners for some stuff to happen but as a whole I think it works pretty well and a lot of people complain this movie is kind of overstuffed and I don't really think it gets too rushed until the end there is some dumb stuff in this movie like Batman not killing Superman because their moms have the same name which is Martha, if you didn't know. I actually don't, like, hate the idea, but the execution just, like, wasn't there. But you should still give the film credit for this stuff. It does do right, because obviously there's a lot of ideas in here that I think are just executed really well, most particularly just the premise. And all of these different factors lead to Batman and Superman fighting. I think it just was done pretty well. And the movie's also, like, two and a half hours long, and they've, they've kind of done like some deconstruction of characters like they kind of did it in Superman Returns and the latest Indiana Jones movies where they just have like uh, these two and a half hour movies that are kind of depressing and just not that much fun. And like I wouldn't describe this movie as fun, but I think it actually works in this case. Like it's a rare case where it actually works because you just have the older version of Batman and then Superman who like tries to save people and then society just still there are these people that hate him and he's just become a controversial figure. Kind of reminds me of the Star Wars prequels where yeah it's not perfect but it's still a good movie. The good definitely outweighs the bad. So overall on the quality scale of 0 to 100 I will give it a 76% and this is definitely worth checking out if you have not already. But let me know what you think about Madman vs. Superman in the comments section below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.